Reichstag Dome. To draw this shape, the first thing we do is enter the image into the Rhino environment. Drag the photo and place it on the page by holding the shift key in the perspective view. We first draw the bottom section of the shape with circle. By holding the key, we copy the circle and raise it up. Afterwards, by holding the shift, we change the scale sections. We run the active record history option and the command loft to create a cross section between the three lines. Set to normal and shaded mode. We now make the necessary changes to get closer to the model. In this step, apply the shape divisions. In this way we select the bottom corner and select the divide command, with the right click. The first option wants the direction. That is not important here for us. The next option is the number that we give 20. The next command is ISO curve. Which according surface and point to gives you curve. You see that the line specifies. To turn on the point to make it more precise. Now we delete the first page because it has been a guide. Now we need to create between two lines of the page. Which we can do with the command loft. Switch to mode straight section to show a broken break. Note, be sure to smooth the lines. So do not trouble later on into array. To draw the vertical grids in the top view. Draw a cross section with the rectangle command. We move it to the right place and if it needs to rotate, it will rotate it. Select the sweep one command. Note, no shape or object is selected. The first thing that wants to be rail. The second thing, without enter clicking or right clicking, creates the cross section, we make the space. Tip, when you have a swipe. Do not choose the cross section first and then the path that follows this way. At this level, we need to duplicate the shape in our double shape. Select the shape and array polar command. We give the center point and then the number and number. Now we have to draw the horizontal rails. It should happen on the pages. After select section and the select surface option. Select the surfaces. Note, it does count images except surfaces. So take control and remove the image from the selection. Isolate the surfaces. The surfaces are separate. If all of them and enter join are seamlessly. If it's a mistake and the pages are on the same side. Join A does not. In the front view, we create horizontal lines with the contour command. Direction and distance. Now, to work seamlessly on them. We isolate and integrate with Join. With the offset order, all the curves are copied to the outside. Now choose to highlight everyone. And with the extruder command, we give it a volume. We disable the isolate from the standard part. Switch to mode ghosted. So let's complete the inside of the dome. 
all the outside process should be done inside. In the front view, we copy the circle to create the middle section. Isolate the shape. Complete the cross section. Create the internal section with the command. Activated Recode History. Now we're editing to make it look like the original image. We turn off the isolate to see the location in its entirety. Well OK. Again isolate the shape. Divide the bottom circle. Example 20. Tip. Split on the no. In the ISO curve command. If you set the submenu on the U is line vertically. If you set the submenu on the V is line horizontally. And if on the both is horizontal and vertical. If you hit the toggle to change the layout. This option to work faster. So now we put two lines and then erase the page. Again isolate the shape. And again, we repeat all the things we did outside the dome. Loft and array polar, and the select curves and join. In the front view. And with contours command we draw horizontal lines. All selection lines except first and upper. And with the order of the pipe. We give the volume and the cross section. Set to shad and the general shape is unhide. Put on the ghosted mode. Well, you see that it is in the form of trusses. Between the vertical and horizontal lines. To draw trusses, activate the project. And execute the line command. Now we draw the shape on the figure. Since project is active, we are sure to draw a level. So continue to the top of the dome. Now, in the perspective view, disable the project. We will place the truss insertion. Of course, there are instructions like align this to do this. But we have not yet given you this command. Placement is done by rotate and in the direction of the axis. Now we're dimensional it in. With the order of the pip. And with array polar, the shape of it will be shaped. The next step is to draw the internal ramp. It can be done with two commands. First. I'll explain Helix's command. In the sub option, 
the helix command is the vertical option. Which if you click, vertically creates a bouncy mode. After that, it wants the radius of the beginning and the end. The direction of rotation must also be specified. In turns, we specify the number of rotations. But this command requires other instructions. That I have not trained here. Then we use the spiral command. All its settings are similar to Helix. Now keep the top and bottom line. And heighten the rest of the shape. Select the spiral command and put it vertically. Select the height according to the distance of the circles. Choose the radius and the amount of circles that we have. We are counting on the image we see. Of course, we estimate. Now in the perspective view, we isolate the circle lines. With the offset order, we copy the spiral to the inside. For example, with a distance of 3. We close the front and the end with the line. By applying the network command to it, we turn into a surface. And then we'll solid it with surface offset. Let's take unhide. And it's finished.